When it comes to pets, most of us choose the nice and friendly animals, like kittens. But some people clearly like living with a sense of fear, because some people don't pick the cute animals for company. Some people choose the scariest ones available. These are the most dangerous animals kept as pets. Number 15. Tigers Cats make fantastic pets, up to a certain point, because that point, which is basically anything big enough to bite your arm off, things get a little less fantastic. And the biggest cat of them all, the tiger, is definitely not a great choice of pet for a beginner. There are six remaining tiger species, and it's fair to say that none of them are well adapted to living in your suburban home. They are massive predators, with giant fangs that will need dozens of pounds of meat every Every day to sustain their massive body size. Eu não tive nem um pouco de medo da, da minhas filhas conviver com esses animais. You'll be needing an extremely secure and expensive enclosure with plenty of space for this stripy kitty. The usual territory covered by a tiger will range around 40 miles, and they are extremely territorial. So make sure there's no one else in town with the same idea about having a tiger pet. They start off as cute cubs, but in under a year they will possess the strength to knock down a human adult. And playing with a tiger cub is extremely dangerous, as they will give you a little bite for fun, which may end up in severe injuries and death for you, that is. Before long, they will have huge claws and teeth, and even a well-intentioned wrestle can turn bad very fast. Some famous tiger trainers have been mauled and killed without warning by tigers they have raised from cubs after many years. You can never predict how a tiger is going to act. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. In most countries, it is illegal to keep a Komodo dragon as a pet because of their venomous bite. But there are some places where it is, shockingly, considered A-OK. -okay. But just because it's legal, that doesn't mean it's safe. Far from it. Not only is their bite venomous, so is their saliva. If your puppy slobbers all over ya, just wash it off. But if your Komodo dragon does, you're in serious trouble. And not only that, but they are also massive. If your dog or cat loses its temper, you might be able to fight it off. But a Komodo dragon, not a chance. They also stink, by the way. I mean, as far as we're concerned, it's just not worth keeping one as a pet. But people do. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Crocodile some crocodile experts say that, unlike tigers, crocodile behavior is actually pretty predictable, since crocs are comparatively primitive animals, although they do have complex and intelligent personalities. Unfortunately, many of those predictions involve the fact that a crocodile will kill and eat you if it's hungry, or even if it's not particularly hungry. However, there are some exceptions, and that includes wildlife carer Vicky Lowing's pet crocodile, Jilly. Lowing has been caring for Crocs for about 30 years. Now I'm going to push you in under the coal and we'll warm you up, okay? usually taking on pets that got way out of control for their overambitious owners. Jilly is a special croc, as she is believed to be the only saltwater crocodile in the world who is able to live with humans in a non-aggressive relationship. Incredibly, this huge predator roams freely through Lowing's home, along with her adopted birds, cats, and lizards, leaving all of them in peace. Does the crocodile lady, as she is known, recommend others try the Metis pets? Not at all. She stresses that only a highly experienced specialist should even contemplate the idea of one of these dangerous pets. Number 13. Bison 
13 years ago, Texan couple Ronnie and Sharon Bridges sold their herd of 52 buffalo. They couldn't bear to completely part with the species they loved, so they kept one buffalo calf as a pet and named him Wild Thing. But Wild Thing doesn't just live out in an enclosure like a normal farm animal. No, the 2,500-pound buffalo lives in the Bridges' home and even has his own room. His favorite activity is to chill out in his room and watch action movies, although he always comes to the kitchen for breakfast with Ronnie and Sharon. In fact, Wild Thing was even the best man at the couple's wedding. Wild Thing also has land and a barn he can make use of, and his other best friends are the pack of wolves the couple also cares for. But he loves to come into the house and hang out, although he causes a fair amount of destruction and has almost killed Ronnie a few times, including one episode where Wild Thing got spooked by something and picked Ronnie up with his horns, charging away with him, leaving Sharon to believe her husband was dead. Ronnie says it is not safe to have visitors as Wild Thing will charge at anyone unfamiliar, but he's totally cool with them it seems. Number 12. Bear Russians like to do things their own way, and choosing pets is no different, at least in the case of Yuri and Svetlana Jilly. Instead of a regular pet, they have a 7-foot-tall, 770-pound bear named Stepan, and he lives right there in the house with them, showing up to the table at mealtimes and chilling on the sofa with the couple when he wants to unwind. Forte, sofa, más fuerte, eso. Yuri and Jilly adopted Stepan when he was just three months old, and now, 24 years later, they cannot imagine life without him. Stepan is apparently partial to tea and cakes, which he regularly enjoys with his owners, although his tea drinking technique is more lapping like crazy than genteel sipping. In fact, he wolfs down pretty much anything that is put in front of him, and the couple make sure that Stepan is kept well fed, being aware that if he gets gets hungry, his predatory instincts may kick in, and suddenly it will be Yuri and Svetlana who start looking like large slices of cake in Stepan's eyes. But as long as he's had his food, there's little chance of Stepan becoming all hangry and mauling them to death. He much prefers to hang out and have his belly rubbed on the sofa. Number 11. Hyena now we're on to another unusual pet, a hyena. Just like a big friendly dog, right? Well, no, not right at all. First of all, hyenas are not even related to dogs. They are in fact more closely related to big cats than to dogs. <laughs> although they are really their own thing. And secondly, hyena are incredibly dangerous animals, extremely intelligent, very strong, and with a complex social system. But in the ancient walled city of Harare, Ethiopia, things work a little differently to most places in Africa. Usually, the hyena is an animal to be feared and considered symbolic of negative things, but in Harare, the hyenas and the inhabitants have come to understand one another, it seems. After dusk, they arrive, and the locals head out to feed them fresh meat, and the hyenas will come right up and eat out of their hands. It all began many years ago when a local resident, known as Hyena Man, figured that if he fed the hyenas scraps, they would leave his livestock in peace. And it worked. Now the tradition continues, and the hyenas come to feed off the scraps directly from the people of Harar, leaving the livestock alone. Number 10. Python a lot of young boys are fascinated by snakes and dream of owning one, but not many end up actually having a 20-foot-long python as a pet. But that's exactly what a young Colombian boy known as Sam Bath has, and he has been living with his pet python since he was a toddler. Just after Sam Bath was born, his mother had a prophetic dream in which her family was being protected by a huge serpent. Only a few weeks later, Sam Bath's father found a tiny snake hiding underneath Sam Bath's bed, and his mother recognized it as the baby version of the snake in her dream. So they named it Qumran and adopted it as Sam Bath's protector. Eleven years later, and Qumran has become very much part of the family. The snake gets through around 20 pounds of 
chicken and duck every week. However, it turned out that the dream was not entirely true, or at least omitted the part where Kamran would bite Sambath. After this episode, the family decided that the enormous Kamran would probably be happier living at the local zoo, and that's where the snake can be found today. Number 9. Leopard Armand Gerber runs the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Park in South Africa, and the 51-year-old has dedicated his life to caring for and protecting animals, especially the big and dangerous ones, that other people might be a little wary of, to say the least. It kills your time, but yeah, ain't that nice. Ooh. But not happy with only having a wildlife park for his beloved animals, Armand has decided to share his home with two huge leopards. The two were born to one of Armand's female leopards, and Armand removed them so he could bottle feed them in his home and have them sleep in his bed where he could be a full-time parent replacement. He has faced criticism for removing the young leopards from their mother, but he insists that this is is the best way to rear leopards for a life in captivity and make sure they are used to human interaction. It's a full-time job taking care of these huge kittens, and Armand also has 10 lions, 3 tigers, and a cheetah to care for, along with his leopards. Whatever the case, he will always be known as the man crazy enough to live with leopards. Number 8. Wild Boar Doriana Giustosi and Raphael Pitarini spotted a piglet in woodlands near their home of Foligno, Italy. They realized that the young boar was in trouble and probably close to death. So, they decided to adopt it. The piglet was tiny when they found it, but they maybe didn't realize that Pasqualina, as they called it, would grow to a huge size, weighing more than 360 pounds. Even though Pasqualina is enormous, the couple decided to keep the pig indoors and give her free reign throughout the house, and a choice of two bedrooms depending on her mood. Wild boar are very intelligent, and the couple claimed that the pig is fully domesticated with a lot of dog-like traits. She can make her way up and downstairs, unassisted, and likes to cuddle up on the couch. She is fully house-trained and often shares mealtimes with Doriana and Raphael, particularly enjoying strawberry yogurt. She loves cuddling, she likes physical contact, she communicates a lot with us. She is very affectionate, and we are like her parents, Doriana said. Number 7. Liger here at Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve, some of the animals in the petting zoo are a little different to what you might expect elsewhere. Tawny and her brother Cody are taking their favorite pet out for a walk on a leash like you would any other pet. But this is far from an ordinary pet. It is a liger, which is the biggest cat in the world. He was 12 feet tall and 900 pounds. In fact, a liger occurs only when a male lion breeds with a female tiger, meaning this is a cat that is extremely rare and one which probably never existed in the wild, although it's not impossible. However, in captivity, ligers can be bred and they are usually way, way bigger than either of their parents. One liger from Myrtle Beach Safari Park was featured in the Guinness Book of Records as the largest of all time. His name was Hercules and he weighed more than 900 pounds and was 11 feet long. Ligers are very social and they love to be around people who they have grown up with. Although this does not mean just any old person should think about getting a pet liger or even approaching one. I mean, just look at the size of it. Number 6. Polar Bear I have a wife and a mistress, says Marcus Dumas. My mistress is 800 pounds, blonde, and cranky. Well, Mark is a brave man to have taken on 12-year-old Aggie as his mistress because Aggie is an enormous polar bear. Come on in. She's right behind you, Don. Hi, honey. Hi. Mark is her manager, as Aggie is the Jennifer Lawrence of polar bears. Hailing from Canada, Aggie is famous for her many on-screen appearances, but it's not always easy managing a polar bear diva. She has to be transported in a 40-foot trailer, which has its own pool in case it turns out to be a hot day. And no one is permitted to come near while Mark prepares her for her scenes. And Aggie won't just be throwing a movie star tantrum, but possibly swallowing the heads of 
anyone who upsets her. Recently, she starred in the movie Arctic Opposite, Mads Mikkelsen, but she is finding work harder to come by as directors choose the safe option of CGI when they want a polar bear on screen. CGI to me is a cartoon. The animals don't look real, says Mark. Number 5. Cougar Alexander and Maria Dmitriev are a couple from Penza, Russia, who in 2016 decided they wanted a house pet that was a little different from all their neighbors. So they headed out to their local petting zoo and negotiated a deal to buy a young cougar for around $3,000. She did. She did. Calling the big cat messy, they soon installed him in their small studio apartment. The first time we saw him in the zoo, I think we both had the same feeling towards this animal, Maria said. It was such an excitement, such tenderness. Like, I don't know how, it's impossible to grasp, but it was very strong. In spite of his name, Messi is an extremely clean cat, and the couple make every effort to ensure he is well-groomed and washed. He gets a bath then has his claws trimmed to try and save their furniture a little, followed by a check on his teeth, which then receives a special brushing every day. His meals consist of turkey, beef, a bit of chicken breast, and some bones. Messi has his own Instagram and YouTube channel, and has become a pretty big celebrity as people tune in to see his latest exploits. In 2019, Messi got a new friend, a cheetah named Akel, who was a gift from a circus trainer, but sadly a shell died of lung cancer in 2020, but now they have a new cheetah friend for Messi named Gerda. Number 4. Serval Cat Serval cats are actually kind of popular as pets, but they are definitely not for beginners. They might be smaller than a liger, but this is still a wild animal and requires some extra special care. They look like a small version of a leopard, and they are native to the grasslands which surround the Sahara Desert. They are a lean and long-legged cat, with a coat pattern which helps to camouflage them in long grasses when they are hunting. <laughs> and those hunting instincts mean your serval cat will need a pretty huge and complex place to play and run around in if you don't want it getting bored. Many states in the US require a special license to keep wild animals, and the serval is no exception. If you get the paperwork out of the way, you may find that your 30-pound cat is extremely playful at night, which is when they like to go out and hunt. And they also enjoy marking their territory. That means they will probably pee in your bed a lot, just so you know whose bed it really is. They're not big into litter boxes, and even if you do train them to use one, they'll still like to pee on everything, just for the hell of it. Number 3. Lion If a serval doesn't seem quite edgy enough for ya, how about a lion? That's right, there's people out there who will settle for nothing less than the king of the jungle itself as their kitty. One of those people is Dean Schneider. He didn't have that type of mane before. Dean was a successful businessman and entrepreneur, and after becoming wealthy at a young age, he decided to quit the city life and head out to South Africa where he established a wildlife sanctuary. Opening in 2017, Hakuna Mipaka specializes in captive lions, as well as zebras, impalas, kudu, hyenas, and baboons. Inspired by Steve Irwin, Schneider's mission is to try and connect people with the animals, and he has an Instagram account with eight 8.6 million followers, many of whom are keen to see his amazing relationship with the lions. However, he was investigated for animal abuse after he posted a video of himself hitting a lion cub after it dug one of its claws into his shoulder while he was filming. Schneider said that he was teaching the lion to learn about boundaries and that it was unharmed. Number 2. Hippo Many people would think that the most dangerous animal in Africa is the lion, or maybe the crocodile. But in fact, it is the hippo that is considered most dangerous by Africans. And these massive beasts have enormous jaws with huge teeth and are notorious for their extremely bad temper. But that didn't stop Tani and Shirley Jubert from taking on Jessica the hippo as a pet in their native land of South Africa. 
Hey, hippo! <laughs> Connie and Shirley found poor Jessica near death back in 2000, when she was just a young hippo, lying on the banks of the Blind River. They decided to take her in and nurse her back to health. Jessica eventually got better and was able to return to the river with the other wild hippos. But she has always come home to the Jubert place to visit her human foster parents and their dogs, enjoying treats and playing with the whole family. If this seems insane, well, it kind of is, but now Jessica has become a tourist attraction and people pay to go and pet the giant hippo. Number 1. Gorillas Gorillas are some of our closest relatives, and there's some people who have taken that statement a little too literally and gone right ahead and moved them into their family homes. Pierre and Elaine Thibillon of Lyons, France, adopted a baby gorilla named Digit when she weighed only four and a half pounds, but she certainly weighs a lot more than that now. 18 years later, Digit is a full grown gorilla, but she has been raised pretty much as though she were a human being, even sharing a bed with her adoptive parents until she was a teenager. She was bottle-fed, house-trained, and made to feel like part of the family, and now that she is bigger, she lives part of the time in the house and part in a special enclosure the Thivilon family built into the side of their home. It's not always easy, though. We cannot leave Digit overnight with anyone else, which means we haven't been able to go out for 13 years, says Pierre. We haven't had a holiday or a night away. We haven't been to the cinema, the theater, or out for dinner. It would make Digit sad if we weren't here. And if she is sad, we are too. Have you ever heard of a crazier pet than those on our list today? Would you like to show off your pet Liger to all your buddies? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.